Hi guys, so my ne for my next project, uh, my aim is to put this uh, EDF unit running 4S on this tricopter. Uh, it's an RC Explorer, RC Explorer, sorry, dot SC tricopter running a KK2 board. Okay, so I'm going to test the the EDF unit. Yep. Whoa. Okay, it's working. Um, it has plenty of thrust. Uh, I think I read it was like one kilo uh, of thrust on four cells, so it should be <laughs> it should be interesting on the trick up there. So let's do this. I finished the plan uh, to mount the EDF unit, and it should be right there, roughly. Um, with the thrust angle parallel to the copter and I hope the, that the hair flow will not make too much turbulence um, for the back motor uh, so now I just have to cut everything and we shall see if it fits correctly so I finished to cut all the parts and I put it all together to do test test fit so as you can see here I have the EAC here underneath, um, the EDF, and all the wires are connected here. It's held by two screws here, normally all the front spacer. And then I also need to connect an XT60 connector here, and it should be good. I also made a mistake uh, when I, I made this hole here, uh, because I don't know if you can see, but it's not a line. It's time to program my Tyranis that I've got here. Um, so, let's turn it on. Welcome to Tyranis. Now I just have to test if everything is working um, correctly. Um, and if the FPV system works with the Xiaomi E, uh, just I'll show you also how works the Tyranis. Engine off. Okay, I'm on here. So, what I did is um, so I already showed you I can't use the EDF if this switch Engine on. is not turned on. Stabilize and mode. this one enable me to engine on to, engine off. to be on the stabilized mode uh, without using stabilized this mode. one. So this one is just stabilized for the tri normal tricopter mode. All right. So let let me just plug everything in. Oh, all right. I guess it's on. Oh. Telemetry lost. Okay, I have a problem with. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but I just lose one wire of my. <laughs> of just switch. Welcome to Toronto. Um, Engine off. All right. Okay, let me just plug everything. Hopefully, it will work this time. Yeah, perfect. All right, so. The EDF is happy. So when I push this, it's not working. So engine on. It's on. <laughs> Whoop. Still as powerful as it was. And now stabilize mode. It's also on stabilize mode. Working. All right. Engine off. Now I can kill it. Stabilize mode. And the stabilize mode is working, and this is not working anymore. You can. Arm it. Everything seems to be working. Can engine on. Arm it. It's 
working. Still working. Engine Perfect. Off. Here's what I've done. Um, so when I use this one, this little switch, so on the middle position is doing nothing. If I pull it up, uh, down, sorry, it will disarm um, the KK board. Engines disarmed. Uh, so Engines it does override. Oh, sorry, override the channel one, which, which is throttle. So at minus one hundred, so it's killed. And also uh, the channel four uh, at uh, one hundred. So it's this. So it means that when I do Engines this, disarmed. it does disarm the KK bar. Now, if I pull it up, I'll show you. Engines are. It does arm the KK bar. As you can see, it's just the same for the um, uh, for the throttle. It's minus one hundred, but it's. Uh, minus uh, 100 for the uh, the rudder, so it means it's like this. So as you can see, up and engines disarmed. Engines are it's armed. And when I do this, so it does work. And when I do engines disarm, it just disables it. All right. So now the EDF tricopter is done. Uh, it's all shiny and ready to fly um, I just uh, switch um, I just put a very ho uh, old servo in it which was on my last mini tricopter but I prefer to have a really good servo on on the new one so I can do crazy stuff and hopefully it will, it will work well. ok so here I am where I used to fly um, I did balance everything on the copter and so you can see how I have to fall um, backward my battery so I can I get the balance right um, the CG right sorry so um, I just have to connect everything and then I'll do just a test test fly okay I'll put auto level mode that bad um, let's do with the EDF now Try two, but at least I know that it works. So, I mean, armed. Engine on, stabilize mode. Jeff is drawing uh, like crazy on the battery. Alright, so 
it worked great. Uh, my only problem was when I gave I gave too much thrust on ZDF. I had this arm that fall back like that, and even like this, it it, it did flew great uh, with just the afterburner on and the tail rotor to um, to give you on the copter. Um, the problem is when I uh, switch off the EDF turbine, it was not flyable anymore. So um, I have to tighten a little more the screw on here, and it should be great. Um, I also noticed that when I give a little too much, um, s when I switch on the EDF, the copter was acting a little like this, or in this way, I don't really, I don't really, I don't really remember, but remember, but, but I had a um, yo problem. But it, it still flew great. And I really liked it. If you want to leave a comment, please do. I will read it and respond to you. If you liked this project and you want to see more like this, you can subscribe. If you have idea for the next project, please let me know in the comment section. And what I really want to try is to put a, an afterburner here. But I think <laughs> there is first not a, enough place. And I will just burn my antenna and my... Uh, back motor so it's not a great idea but please leave a comment give me your idea and uh, ideas and I will try it thanks for watching uh, please subscribe and see you next time alright so everything is now plugged in the EDF helicopter I will not fly FPV right now because I just want to test everything if everything is alright and then I put the camera in the copter and do some FPV I hope the focus will be better than yesterday and hopefully you will see flights this time. Okay, so just So I'm in stabilized mode because it's easier for me to fly in, in line of sight. So let's activate the ADF. Three, two, one, go. Oh. I think I just lost the, uni the unit. I'll bring it back. Okay. Yep. I did lost it. Okay, so I think we are done for today. Um, first, thank thanks for watching this video. Um, if you want, if you liked, if you want to see more of this kind of project. Uh, just subscribe. Um, uh, also, if you have idea to submit the, something that I could try or something crazy or on, uh, what whatever, just leave a comment and I'll do my best. Um, I'll do another video for the speed test, and so see you next time.